Uh, I don't know how to start the show. My name is Canadian Jeff, and I've had a total reversal about reverse. All I can say now is reverse should be legal because I wear two different hats, and that's where we're going. So yeah. I started a new company called YYY Main. I have to give it to Pete because <laughs> he made Jeff relevant and intelligent at this point. Yeah. Because the yeah. one over to my, uh, yeah. this is so hard to do this way. I know. Yeah. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. But his evil twin, <laughs> Jeff with a G, is very intelligent. <laughs> it's not really fair that we don't have a Derek and Pete version of this, though. Oh, no, it's totally fair because you're the only one that should be muted. But if we had control over them, I would make them, but Derek's not going to be like, oh, yeah, let me put up my face so you can make fun of me. Oh, you can make right. fun of me all the time. I mean, but uh, clearly this one wins. Yeah. For anybody yeah. that doesn't know where Velocity RC Cars Magazine, my name is Triple X Main. Oh, he even put the Triple X Main in the the bottom left. Well, yeah, he would have I screenshot it. I just screen grabbed it. I, yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever was there. Yeah. So we do a magazine about <laughs> RC cars, and then we babble about it. I'm back. Actually, why why aren't our names appearing where they usually appear right here? I think uh, it's when I think it's when the bottom yeah. footer thing isn't there. Oh, yeah. gotcha. You pay 25 bucks a month for some software, you think it can do more than put a name on there, but apparently not. I don't know why I'm exaggerating my lip movement now. It's carrying over from my... <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. Make fun of me again. See what fucking happens. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, I'm right. 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 Hey, just to let everybody know, we're, uh, we do a magazine. It's $9.99 a year. You subscribe. You download it. It's a PDF. Uh, Pete pointed something out, and I think in the next issue, it may be a spread PDF, which probably could have happened earlier. Uh, it didn't. Yeah. But uh, if you download it on your phone or use a reader, it is viewable as a spread. It's pretty easy. So download that. Do it now. Subscribe. Subscribe to the, the YouTube channel. I watch all these dumb YouTube videos where people ask and beg to subscribe and click the stupid bell. I, I don't understand. If you like it, just do it. And don't watch it. Or watch it when you're in the bathroom and leave it running. You know? What are you talking about right now? This, this show? Subscribe to YouTube. Like Our stats are like... We get all these views uh, on other videos, and it's like 10% of subscribers watch the video. It tells you how many people subscribe. So right. if you've subscribed to it, watch this stupid thing. Let it play in the background. <laughs> or watch it. Or watch it. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> so. I think the reason a lot of people don't subscribe to stuff on YouTube is because once you watch something on YouTube, YouTube is like, oh, you love this? I'll show you stuff like this all the time, bro. Yeah. You know? It's a little intense, but hey, we're worth it a little bit. I looked uh, up a video on how to install a toilet flange, and you and YouTube was like, "Oh man, you're into toilets!" <laughs> Another like, toilet video. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the new issue's out. It's down here. This is the one. If you download now, you'll get this issue plus uh, a whole crap load of back issues. Ten dollars only with the uh, PDF. If you do the app and you want uh, the app experience, uh, you don't get it. And that's because I had to pay someone to do an app, and uh, they don't have the technology apparently. So just do it. It's ten dollars. Do it now. Subscribe, like us on Facebook. Do all that stuff. At the end of the video says, but do it in the beginning. Uh, I learned that from YouTube. You just got to ask people to do it. Um, we don't uh, really have a lot of topics like normal. We just uh, giving away stuff left and right. Hey, the dude that won the motor, the engine, Draken. Draken. You haven't gotten back to me or watched it. So we're gonna uh, re give away another the Draken engine, but this time. I think we have to know you have one. So this is how the contest is going to go. I'm making this up right now. Uh, go on our Facebook, post an end picture of you and an engine <laughs> in our micro car and say, I want my engine draked in. You can do a video, you can do whatever you want, but put it on there. What if it's a used engine? Uh, well, you can get it resized. resized. Oh, yeah, we talked about that, right? Drake yeah. will make your, your uh, piston smaller. Uh -huh. But then you th you have to have a video of you uh, hitting top dead center and showing no compression. Whatever. If you have a stupid engine, this way, if, if you win, you, I'm just not giving away something that doesn't care, that tried to win something that didn't, didn't have. I kind of assumed that when you entered, you would have what we needed. Anyway, so 
post the picture on Facebook. I'll put this in the in the comments. The picture that gets the most uh, shares. Yeah, we'll what go with likes. Right now, just, we'll go with likes. That's we'll just the winner. Choose someone. Just choose. I the don't best like. I like. I want this to be interactive, which means they have to get somebody to like their picture. Right. So post your picture. The most likes wins. Ty Ty goes to the one I think's better. All right. Let's see how interactive this gets. The winner is the guy who has an engine. Post a photo. And has the most friends he can tag on Facebook as they come like my picture. Nobody's winning this engine breaking. It could be one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that's true. If you have it, do it. Do them limit. It's just, you know, if you uh, win, you win. This week, uh, we are still giving away stuff. We try to give away stuff every week. So let's go over what we're uh, we're doing today. Today, we announced the winner, uh, the wiener of the Tekken prize pack. So I didn't pick it yet. So we're going to do that in a little bit Well. Uh, you guys are talking about something relative. I noticed so, uh, a lot of comments about uh, people enjoying the gym show last week. Uh, yeah. And uh, what's funny is that uh, we were t talking about servos, and the whole time I had one right here, I could have used it as a prop. Yeah, you should have been more like Pete, where you have everything right there. Well, I had a servo, and this wasn't on purpose. It was just sitting on my desk. I noticed it after. It was so just thought about how I don't actually tune or do anything. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I was like, oh, I probably could be a faster driver if I actually put some a little bit of effort into something. Yeah. Not gonna. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. No. I, uh, Joe, you, Joe's already come on with, uh, you must have, Derek must have called him. He's no, already coming on. Running joke in the world now. It's like a meme. Com well, no, he's complaining about velocity stickers, so that must be you. And then he's also referenced his uh, electric GT conversion, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna do I, it. I need velocity stickers and uh, I know. main gift pack. I know. I'll yeah. I'll just I'll say the same thing. I I apologize that I'm terrible. I, but yeah, I got everyone who kit. I promised a box will eventually show up. I've got the slash kit and the Wendigo waiting for decals. Yeah, I I'll I will take care of it. I'll take care of it. I, I mean, I said three weeks ago I'll take care of it this week, but I'll take care of it this week. Uh, just to let you know, in Jeff time, it could be anywhere between now and never. Yeah, I, have, I still haven't contacted the prize winners from two months ago. That's that's a true. So and, and my buddy with the really long email, <laughs> the masked man. The masked yeah, he's probably not, he's probably not even ever gonna come back now that. No, you, he's gonna come back. He's he, he'll be on tonight. He'll be. <laughs> he'll be like, we haven't seen Tebow in a while. Who? Tebow, the 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 guy that made fun of my striker. Really, you've already forgotten him. It's one of our. He was one of our biggest fans. Theo, I mean, uh, but. I'm going to say right now that there is no show on the internet with a less interesting cast of recurring characters as this show. <laughs> it is it is like Friends. Yeah, RC Masked Master, General Hobbies, knows the guy. He's a good guy. Um, I'm picking the winner of this uh, Tekken prize pack right now. So if you guys could try to pretend. Uh, I can't do that guy. Sorry, dude. I just realized you have an Australian uh, email, so <laughs> you got eliminated. <laughs> and the eliminated winner is... <laughs> no, don't say it. I'll give some insight to folks in Canada who are like, why can't I win any contest? And it's because... We can. We include Canada. We include shipping, Canada. Just... Shipping, to Can shipping to another country, even if it's just across an imaginary line, is a disaster. But also in Canada, you can't just win a contest. It has to be a contest of skill. Um, you can't just pick someone at random because that's like gambling, apparently according to Canadian law. Oh, well, and we just eliminated all you stupid Canadian uh, watchers. <laughs> no, just, yeah. just just ask them, do what they all they, they all do in the McDonald's contest. Just say what's four plus four before you Exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, I, 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 I actually forgot America. about that. Uh, yeah, that's a Canadian thing. In, in America, we don't have any kind of like, <laughs> math hippie requirement to win a, a contest. I haven't seen Hippie in a while. How's it going, Hippie? <laughs> Wait, so, Jeff, did you, you knew that was a rule? I, I did know, but I totally forgot. Now that Peter's mentioned it, I, I I I totally forgot about that. But yeah, yeah, that's right. There's always some stupid question that you can't really get wrong on on uh, on that stuff. And right. Canada's right. really smart, so I can see that they would eliminate the gambling component of it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that, that make, it makes it a, a game of skill if you have to answer a question. Sure. Was too yeah, simple. yeah, hey, yeah. Interesting tidbit. I, again, it was I, it's something I, th I think I knew and forgot, but didn't it didn't even cross my mind yeah. as uh, we were doing all these prizes. Mm. All right. Well, I have the winner after all that dumb Canadian logic. Uh, Ke Jeff can also tell you the statutory rape limits in Canada. Those are in interesting as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. You have to be 33. Younger than you think. Yeah. Alexander uh, Rizzi. Uh, hopefully you are U.S. Uh, Is this for the Tekken or for the or for the Draken? Tekken. Oh, that's right. The Draken was the Facebook picture. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, His uh, email has a 66 in it, 666 in it. So he's sort of the devil. And uh, yeah, that's um, good. The winner. Email. Hey, we miss you too, Hippie. Ah, the times we had with Hippie. Oh, God. Remind me. I'm going to go back to regular Jeff. Hey, okay, so we're going to move on uh, here because I'm boring my shit out of myself right now, too. Uh, we missed a couple things when we talked to Adam Drake. Uh, these were ads. Oh, yeah. That was the they, guy who had the temp guns for the, for the, for the snakes. Huh? That's the guy that had the temp guns for the snakes, and he and then he dabbled in the, in, our, in the hobby industry. Yeah, the, the, the PE on his uh, uh, superhero outfit there stands for Pro Exotic. Oh, there you go. Right. That's right. As an exotic. Yeah, yeah that's right. Snake, yeah, yeah. yeah the guy was sold for because for... your snake needs to be a certain temperature. Yeah, my snake. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I check the temperature of my snake often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could you could create friction if you need to warm it up, or you could yeah, all sorts of things oh, you can do. With your have a temp gun now in modern times too. Say that again. It, it's relevant to have a temp gun in modern times too. I mean, I guess if you had a temp gun company, it'd be sold out because everybody has to have one to, to finger check and butt check or whatever. Oh, you're talking about COVID? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Right. So nobody has. Um, let's talk about this. Today's talk. Today's topic is let's talk about whatever Derek puts on the screen. All right. Brought to you by this. This is a now uh, RC four wheel drive to make scale crawlers mostly. I'm trying to think if they make something else, but it's all crawlers. Uh, started off with accessories. This is their new uh, carbon assault. Carbon assault. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, monster truck. What are we calling it? Just a competition solid axle monster truck. Yeah, it's like a Claude esque dimension, isn't it? Isn't that what those are? Yeah. 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 Do we need these? Well, apparently they have a big following. I mean, that, that's a, it's one of those scenes that you're not going to come across just by going to wherever people run RC cars or the track. Yeah, no. But there are lots of guys who are super into solid axle monster truck racing. Yeah. Didn't Jay Concepts just do one too? Yeah, Jay Concepts did a really one. nice Claude conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's it, you, you can't have this many products coming out in. Uh, in that uh, area and not have a following. You should have seen all of these on Velocity's social media. It's partly where I saw them. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just looking at it. I think it's like 700, 700 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's so, here. Hey, Tom. <laughs> so it's pretty expensive. Uh, I, I'm into it. I mean, me and Jeff uh, travel, Jeff and I, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we went to the middle of Bum F, Iowa. No, Ohio. Right. Ohio. To the, the indoor. Monster Truck Worlds or uh, yeah. NRC TPA? Is that what that's it was? It. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. Huge, over 500 entries. A huge oh, cool. event. Yeah, it was yeah. super red back then. It was a good time. I mean, basically, you know, it's you run two directions and you're done racing in eight seconds. And then and like, both they had truck pull. They had the freestyle. They had uh, the side by side. They had a number of events in the hotel. Yeah. They even ran Nitro, if you remember, in the hotel, but they had to, they had some exo a pipe that oh, they for pulling, though. Yeah. We're pulling. They, they had some tube that went up to the, the sky, and uh, some dude had to run beside the nitro puller as it was pulling to, to keep the exhaust in the tube hole. So tube it's hole. a big scene, and they and they make some cool stuff. A lot of fabrication going on, obviously, because a lot of those cars are don't, you know, excuse me, burp, uh, like Howard Stern. Um, another one. Maybe there'll be a Thundertech resurgence with uh, with well, all this. I thought he was back working doing something. I thought did Pete? Did you say that? Uh, Thundertech? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing or what Darren Grillo is doing. Yeah, I haven't heard. I haven't heard anything. He's on my Facebook. I should send him a message. Yeah, he had good stuff. I don't think he could. I don't think he was able to scale. That was the only problem for him. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he made it. The other thing that came out, and this will segue into a different topic. Uh, this is a. Fifth scale stunt truck, which I sort of have a problem with the name. Yeah, here's where the physics are going to have a real problem when you got a forty pound stunt truck. What's the name on that one? That's it's now cast, right? Uh, it's a new one that came out. The eight S. 
I, I don't see the name on. Well, it's got to just be a shortened Creighton eight S. No, is it not? That's it, it, it's the, probably a similar uh, aspect ratio as as the success Creighton yeah. compared to the success. I mean, what the hell stunts are we going to do? You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> no. First of all, let's. This, this is the problem I have. I think the, the that's actually one of my favorite bodies on a, a car in a long time. The the on road version, which the name slip in my head, Infraction, um, and that body or same body. It's cool looking. It's the you know Jim Kana, whatever one truck that is that they copied. Yeah. The word stunt in there to me. Uh, eh? Depends what you're going to do with the stunt. If you're wheeling and doing stoppies and, and, and stuff like that, it's fine. Like, if you're going to air it out, you're going to have a problem. So what stunts can a giant stunt truck do? Well, yeah, like you can do anything. You can land on the wheels. But, and that kind of wheelies, all that stuff. Right? Yeah. The, the problem with stunts, I mean, I as we know, I used to do this when I made videos. And we would I used to do too, but it was... Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, you, you you throw a car 30, 40 feet in the air, and if you come down on on a downside and land on the wheels, you're fine. But any sort of missed landing or or twist or over rotation or under rotation, and and you're and you're doing huge amounts of damage on a. And I used to shoot more with eight scale and ten scale stuff, which is a, a huge weight advantage when it comes to destruction. If you don't land that uh, machine when you're stunting it, yeah, you're yeah, you're gonna smash it up real good. I still, I still think the term this. I don't know. I, I'm just bummed out of the term because I can't really. It's just misleading. Like, uh, well, no, it, it, I guess. The uh oh, am I gonna have the thing? Lots of guys like to triple backflip it and and do some crazy man. Yeah, but stuff. every truck is a stunt truck. Then, Let's well, yeah, it. sure, right. Well, well okay, yeah. I, I would say that for Arma, they they said, you know what? What makes a stunt truck a stunt truck is we're going to have this internal structure that supports the body. So if you land it upside down, it doesn't just pancake it. It's going to have a short wheelbase and great big wheels and tires. So you get maximum gyro effect and minimum right. polar, eye, polar inertia with the, the short wheelbase. So it'll really flip fast and do yep. be responsive in the air and that kind of it'll stuff. It'll wheel easier, all that, all the above. Yeah. Which isn't a gotcha, Derek. You're owned. It's, it just means that's what they consider to be a stunt. I think it's done like yeah. a, it sounds like a word you'd find on like the old Tycos and stuff, you know, like it's, it's, stunt, it's stunt it's awesome. tractor. I don't know why. I don't know why about it. I'm fine. It spins in a circle. That's what I think. Yeah. I just think it's, it's just marketing. I know. Yeah, and, I don't really like it. And I think they and I think they've built an extra durability, so you can do that kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, yeah, but you're not going to be able to. You can't build in any extra durability. If you, if you come down three quarter, you are shearing off that whole a arm and 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 drive shaft and and wheel assembly. If you're doing any sort of airtime, and when you again, it's forty pounds. The laws of physics right. are not in, on I mean, your side. They, they, they've built in the durability that you can build in with flexible plastic yes. internal structure for the body. But yeah, if you launch it, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, Derek was going on about the chassis on, on the ADS Creighton last week or two weeks ago, and all the people online are complaining about it. These things just can't handle that the, yeah. that sort of abuse. It's not. I mean, an A-scale buggy surprisingly can handle quite a lot of that, um, well, and even that want... gets murked pretty good if you if you don't yeah. do the landing right. But but these fifth scale things, just... you know, a basher vehicle, a terminal of, but. If you really want to engineer to take abuse, you don't have a plate aluminum chassis. You just don't because aluminum. Oh, we went through this with the X Max. Yeah. yeah. I guarantee you, if you could take a, if you could film in slow motion, you know, any plastic chassis truck doing what it's doing and, and crashing into stuff, those things are flexing like bananas. It's crazy sure. how flexible they are, but you don't yeah. see it when you're driving it, and that's what lets them take all kinds of abuse. I'm sure Traxxas Max is flexing a whole bunch when you lawn dart it, but it springs back and you keep driving, and that's a lot more fun than a, a you know, a taco aluminum chassis. Yeah. I think so to your point, don't learn it if you can drive it and you can land it, um, at least anything short of 90 degrees so you, you dissipate some energy in a roll and everything else or ideally just actually land it on the wheels yeah it should be fine yeah, yeah you try not to flat land it try, try and land on a transition rather than yeah. flat landing there's, there's all well, sorts of big air tips and, and tricks you can do your vehicle should allow the chassis to actually completely contact the ground before you use up the suspension travel so instead of blowing the pistons out the top of the shocks the chassis will slap down and absorb the rest of the but this is the thing there's a very narrow uh there's very narrow room for error when you're when you're doing many stunts. Oh, yeah. There's not a lot of forgiveness in in those. I mean, uh, again, when I was filming with your Black Man, we we would literally uh, go out with with five, six, seven, eight cars, like load the truck up and go out, and and usually we would do some you know somewhat benign shooting of just just rooster tails and all that. And then when we got sort of what we wanted, we we'd air it out and do something crazy, knowing that 
you're pretty much going to have one shot at this and it's going to blow up and we wouldn't go home till all six or eight cars were broken. And when you start doing anything big, they, they, I mean, I was doing 30 foot, 40 foot jumps all day long. You know, you start to get the hang of it and you still make mistakes and the car just grenades when, uh, when they don't hit right, when they don't in, land right. In the terms of photos and, and I felt much better after I watched um, Ken Block's the making of Jim Connor. Did you ever watch that one? Yeah. Yeah, you brought this point up the other day, which you're right. Yeah, they, it's the same as any extreme video of sorts. They yeah. just piece together a shitload of mistakes. Of you can yeah, look yeah. at work, and that's really what happens on our video shoots and photo shoots. Yeah, because yeah. you get somebody driving, and you're like, "Hey, just take it easy," and then they try to do something, and uh, they grenade the thing. You know, like the uh, red cat uh, kaiju was broken almost the entire uh, video shoot. So it's it still yeah. worked, but uh, that arm snapped pretty on uh, pretty much in the first five minutes. So, but the whole video, it's uh, you just drive it back on, snap it back on the hinge pin when you notice that it was the tone was a little wrong, and that's what happened. But I did feel a lot better after watching somebody make you know like a, with a three million dollar budget that they couldn't make the video and basically well, it has to be you can't do one in a million shots over and over for for five minutes straight in an edited video it has to be when, when i when i jumped the when i backflip the the bus lengthwise and landed it uh i mean i attempted it 10 times and literally had to fix the thing for 20 or 30 minutes between each attempt like bend the chassis back and, and change bent braces and suspend terms it's it, what you see as a finished product in any of those video types scenarios well, it's like the, uh, the dude perfect guys as well on 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 youtube no one's landing i mean once in a while you'd land it on your first attempt but almost never and that would be why i kind of don't like the actual stunt truck label because i right. i want to know how long people's first runs are on these cars it's got yeah, people be, are going to be disappointed be yeah. the whole pack <laughs> right well it's very easy to come across people on you know in forums or groups or whatever and you know, they're saying like, you know, is it normal to break my car every time I drive it? Like, yeah, like you're going to do that if you don't know how to drive it. Just like if you go buy a brand new, you know, uh, Corolla and you back it into a telephone pole and you drive it over a curb and yeah. then you, you know, sideswipe the Jersey barrier on the way home, it's going to be wrecked by the time you get it home. Doesn't mean the Corolla is a piece of junk, you know, do you, right. there's only so much you can actually do before you start breaking stuff. Yeah. People's expectations are changing. Yeah. yeah nowadays, right. even a 10 scale car might weigh close to you know, six, seven, eight pounds, because tents got now is huge, you know. It's not like the old days when you just had a little, you know, buggy size thing. Um, so mass times velocity, you've got a 30 mile an hour car that weighs, you know, five, six, seven, eight pounds. That thing is thousands of pounds of force when you go from 30 to zero in a split second there. So yeah, it you will break things. Yep. Don't do that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, or 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 do it just knowing that this is the case. Like I said, yeah, when right, I was right. filming, I I didn't get angry every time I missed a jump and it blew up. I I yeah, full out yeah. knew that that's what, what's right, going right, to happen. Right. As long as you're aware that, that again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but as long as you're aware that the laws of physics are, yeah. as you said, if you have thousands of pounds of force impacting, then of course something's going to break. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and way around. Oh, incredibly durable. I mean, if you can crash in any way that will dissipate energy, the truck is rolling, skidding, sliding. You know, and slowing down gradually, even though it looks like it's going through an incredible, you know, disaster, you probably won't break anything. But yeah, if you stop, go from speed to stop in a second, stuff's going to have to break. Mm -hmm. I'd have to say house jump. I mean, there's all sorts, but um, that was done in 2001, and uh, still to this day, it holds its weight uh, in impressiveness. Um, yeah, I mean, Searle, Searle was the. I had the idea and 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 sourced all the the, the setup, but Searle's the one that put the skill into that. The house jump definitely is the uh, the big one. I like how you call it a house. Why is you this the garage it. argument? No, you said who's. But uh, oh, okay. did I say who's? Okay, yeah, right. So we're we're gonna watch your video. I didn't queue it up, but that's what I was looking for when somebody was. Uh, if nobody's seen Jeff uh, or know what Jeff did, he started the video scene for RC cars. Yeah, like the Krusty Demons meets RC cars. Yeah. Yes. A couple other players were around at the same time. Well, the first guy that actually released had a terrible release. Who there was, was a number of. Who was what? Who was the first video? I forget his name. It was something called like the the the, the incredible world of remote control vehicles. It was ter it was unwatchable. I, I mean, I'll give the guy props because he 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 actually beat me by a few months uh, to release. Um, and then there was a whole slew of videos that came after. 
Can um, we hear the video audio at the same time? And, and yeah, audio? the audio is what really brings that because it's nitro. This is again, this is before light. People don't realize this is 2001. This is before 8s and brushless where where you could do that. Anyone could do that. That that actually was. If you look at the the, the how narrow the ramp is and and the car actually wheelies uh, as Josh hits the bottom of the driveway. So when he hits the ramp, the, the car is actually on two wheels. It, yeah, it was a very very. Uh, you know, he couldn't see the landing on the other side. He did land on the wheels and it, and it drove off. It, it was very impressive. His pirouette here is a little silly. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. His dance was. Do you hear the sound of I don't hear it. Oh. Uh, meh, 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 meh. I mean, again, this is almost 20 years ago. This is almost 20 years ago. Oh, the Nigel sounds for it. Meh, 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 meh. So I, think, I think all we're hearing is the video sound, whatever it manages to go through your mic. It's not like the app is playing the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sound no. of the video. I could do that. Then it'd be weird. He wanted to go again. He wanted to go on the two-story part of the house right after. Well, that's what I was thinking when I watched it. it was like he totally could have cleared the two stories part. So you should go for that. Yeah, but the two-story part didn't have the driveway. That's the part. That's the problem. So, well, one of the biggest problems in all these in all jumps like that is is like finding a location where you have the run up and because you can't be you can't be driving and then turning to, to hit the, the driveway. So you, and and yeah, there's all sorts of obviously uh, components to that 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 have to align. Yeah, but I want to see him jump over the two-story part. Yeah, well, actually, what, what were their names again? Some of the guys that released a video after me, and, and they probably did one of the better ones. I think I think they were all pretty terrible. But um, was it fight? Well, no, I mean, whatever. I'll say it. It's fine. Uh, fighting gravity. What, what what are those guys' names again? Um, I forget. Anyway, they actually did jump a two-story uh, in their video long after I did, and and um, and not nearly as impressive with the with the direction and the filming of it, but they actually did clear. A, 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 I don't think they showed the landing, but they got the car up and over a, a full two story building. I think plenty of people have jumped houses at this point. Um, yeah, I sure. Yeah, I agree. have you guys seen? I the, was, uh, was going to give you some props, you stupid fuck. Now I'm not going to do it. Everybody, I agree with you. I, mean, I think a lot of people have jumped. Uh, I'm agree with you. A garage, garage. How do you say garage and you say hoose? That's the strangest thing accent for me. Garage. Yeah. I, I, you make fun of me so so often that I actually, for the most part, a fixed house. But uh, <laughs> uh, are you guys aware of and have you seen it? There is an independent movie that I guess is like a Rocky story about a guy who is trying to do a, a long distance RC car jump or something. And no, like, I didn't hear about there's there's that that keep putting on there, like chasing fast cars or something. Or, yeah, yeah. It, oh, it, I have heard of that one. I didn't know I that the premise was. I don't know to, if it came out. Did it ever come out? I think it came out in that you can stream it. You know, it's not, uh, I don't think it played in the theaters or anything. But uh, the, my time is too valuable. Like for oh, I, I stuff I if we could all watch, that, watch that together because it would be like a sci fi mystery theater RC that I would just throw up the whole time because I'm sure it's. How do I say this? It's probably terrible. I'll watch it. I'd like to watch it. It's probably terrible. I'd, I'd watch it. It's fine. Do you remember uh, my film debut? Carpet burners or carpet lickers or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but that was more of a documentary I stuff. The guy looking for funding and stuff. He was looking for funding? It was the uh, the owner's son of the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was a, a loony. I think that's a, so he should have some funding somewhere then. He owned a hobby shop and then he hired a production company. And I forget the guy's name, but uh, seen him a bunch of places. And uh, he was in Vegas and I answered a question drunk, and uh, it was a very strange answer. But uh, we did go to the strip club with the camera somehow, and that footage thankfully never made it to uh, the video. The video. It is odd that you got a camera into a strip club, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe it was Florida. I think I actually was in Florida. It wasn't. Uh, it, was it was in Vegas once, but it was definitely in Florida. Yeah, we told the guy at the door that we're taking the battery out, and then we put the battery back in. Well, it makes sense. Awesome. You want to carry a video camera around without a battery in it. You know, that's... A, yeah, you know, that what did the bouncer believe you? <laughs> it's not like the video cameras of today. It was a full, like, you know, he had this thing on his shoulder, like this big, you know, battery packs and all this, you know. Well, yeah, you couldn't stop it these days. They're not confiscating your phone on the way in. So, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's a whole different Yeah, that was a... Situation, yeah. Jeff, even though no one's going to buy physical media now for an RC, yeah, video, terrible business to be in. Have RC. you considered bringing back Triple X Men as a video production house? Because you, you could be like the Mark Rober of RC extreme stunts and stuff, where once a month, you know, you have a really kick ass 
video with some insane stunt in it. Hold so on. here's the thing. Yeah. Can I, can I, can I, can I hold on. I'm slapping it for reaction. Time, time out for a second. Oh, where is it? I think Derek's going to answer the question for you. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go. So a long time ago on my second monster truck DVD, I made a rule that I would never have a deadline ever again. And therefore, <laughs> I've never received anything on time in my entire life after. So, uh, yeah, I can't do that. I barely leave the house. I mean, house. <laughs> No, there, there, there's, a, there's. I mean, I'd love to be. That, that would be super fun. That those were so, some of the best days of my life was was making toy car videos. But um, as you can imagine, it, it it's costly and time consuming. And if you if there's no way to recoup, um, you know, like we were traveling, you'd spend 15, 20, 25 grand, even more on a on a on a DVD production, laying soundtracks and traveling and and all the damage to the vehicles and 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 on and on and on and on. And on. There's no way of recouping that money now. So you'd either have to lower the budget, which is fine. Um, you can still do a lot with that. But I mean, the time. It, yeah, I mean, you have to have a, a, an outlet. Yeah, I'd have to do some. I really have to do some work. That's the issue. No, it's not about the work. It's not about. I'm past the hobby point of making videos. I'm not going to make a video at this point in my life for fun. As as fun as that would be, I enjoyed editing. I enjoyed laying tracks. I enjoyed filming. But but it's too much work to, to do it for fun. And, and again, if, if you're, if you if there's no business model to it, then it's, it's tougher these days. I mean, we, we, we you know, you a few hundred grand in videos. You so, wouldn't come so out of the gate with massive viewership, but like when you see someone like RC Sparks guy, who I think makes very boring, dull videos, I don't know how he gets millions of views on them, but I guess he, I guess maybe it's just well, he's he's content, constant, he's, he's constant content. He, he makes content yeah. every day or every other day. That's, he, that's he started true. those videos at the, the beginning of YouTube. So, yeah. Yeah. And he makes, he still makes good money. I know Aaron quite well. He, he definitely made, I, I believe he made a lot more back in the day, but he, he's done very well with that and is still doing very well. But talk to him. He, it is, a, it's a lot of work. It's a huge, huge, huge. I mean, you, again, you don't see the cutting room floor of all the, of all the. Well, look, we I do. I, I know you don't do this part, but uh, we do media for a living. I, we know it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. No, I know, but but in but you have to because it actually has to keep working. You know, if you did just when you're doing a shotgun edit style video, like if you watch, uh, you know, Triple X May Three, for example, which I think is which was our best production. If if you watch that shotgun editing style video, a, a three minute song contains so much content. I, I mean, know, you, when it. you do yeah. a big air jump, it's six seconds. Jeff, every everybody makes videos on their phone now. I know you were from the era of you had a no. download. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm I'm talking about just generating the content, like like going and getting the scenes to to fill a three minute song or a three and a half or four minute song with with stuff that's not going to be boring. Like again, like the the constant, uh, you know, where you, there's holy shit, shit like how, I can't believe they did that. And like, look at that one, look at that scene. To do that, it, you know, it's it's a it's dozens and dozens of hours um, to do a three minute cut. So, so you'd either have to lower the quality or lower the, the content value. I mean, again, listen, I would love to make videos again, but 2003 has sailed and uh, the, 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 yeah, it'll never be like that again. Aaron Badashka, uh, RC Sparks, he's got a really good model and I, I wish I had applied a model like that in, in, in 2006 when he did, I believe. But uh, even that, that it, listen, we all sell media here. It doesn't matter what kind of media you're trying to sell. It's tough. In this day and age, everyone expects it to be free or next to free, and whatever ad money you're going to make through ads. By the way, this is what you get for free. Enjoy it, suckers. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is, I mean, you can see why. I mean, there's tons of there's tons of shit on on YouTube you could watch, but it's not ever going to be the the produced quality that that it used to be, just because there's the, the funding's not there. We got funded. Never will be again. Somebody sponsored us for this. You got to put the subject bar up. Yeah, you got to put the subject bar up. Sorry. There you go. So. Now this is what you get. So you don't want to pay for the magazine. This is the shit you get. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny for us, but I don't know what it is for anybody else. But uh... well, and the thing is, people to a certain extent don't care about production value. They don't want to see something you shot on a potato. But you know, if it's well lit and they can hear you, like they what they really care about is what you're showing them. Um, and if that's yeah. a hilarious video about squirrels going through a maze. To reach, you know, the uh, food at the end, the latest, you know, Mark Rober video, um, 
Yeah, that's but, definitely. But play a game. I agree with you that, that people don't care about production quality, but they do care very much about the content. And, and I think you said that. But play a game. Go make a YouTube video. I mean, again, we do this somewhat professionally, but challenge any other person in the hobby. Go make a YouTube video. Try and get 100 people to watch it. Try and get 1,000 people to watch it. I am completely aware. It's all it's about. It's near impossible. But what, to, so to get the millions of views, like, like I don't know, I forget how many videos I have in the millions of views. That's It's near impossible to do that. And you're not going to do that with a, with a shitty quality or, or not some phenomenal content. So I, I tend to agree. Just get something out there and... and but that, that's not what's going to... You know, I've seen some videos of... Uh, did you watch the videos in the last issue? Sorry, I'm throwing stuff around. Did, did you watch that? Did I watch the videos from the last issue? Yeah. Like your videos? The one with the, the one I picked for the... In the magazine, we do a little section called Watch. You click it and... Well, oh, I actually did watch your Watch videos. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch the Santa Claus one? Oh, well, maybe I didn't watch them. It's, uh, I'm going to look for it right now. You guys can talk about it. But... Uh, like, oh, oh! The the dude who was trying to jump the the hill vertically. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually did because I used to write watch, as you know. I, I actually did another one of his videos a, a couple years ago. I think it was actually the same, not the same video, but the same thing. He was trying to was trying to rocket the car up and over something. Yeah, like a springboard. I want to yeah. watch. Uh, it was uh, one of the worst things I ever watched. But he's funny. Him and his girl are funny. Yeah. But, but I mean, to your point, Jeff. If I said like I'm going to make one kick-ass video that I, and I'm going to like try to have it be a million-hit video, like chances are I'm not going to do that. If I say I'm going to make a video every Friday, after mm -hmm. time you develop a fall. I mean, I'm not. I know you know this, but you develop a following, get more and more views, and then you know you have a bigger chance of. But you'd be surprised. Video. This is what I'm saying. I think you'd be surprised. Yeah, you would. But even if you make videos, and again, I'm, I'm not always trying to make this about money or, or, or the business end of it, but even if you start getting 20 or 30 or 40,000 views on your video, which is next to impossible for, for the average Joe, uh, even that's like the AdSense check is 10 bucks. Like, like you're never going to, from from a, you have to do it for fun. It has to be a hobby. Oh, absolutely. Fun. Yeah. And, and that's fine. It, 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 I'm, I'm over that. I, I've done this for for years in the RC industry professionally, I, I wouldn't do it for fun. I hope that doesn't make me sound like an ass, but I, I wouldn't do it for fun. But but it's, it, it is a viable model if someone chooses to do it for fun. You can make some great videos and and maybe get 1,000 or 5,000 or even 50 or 100, 200,000 views. But but to, to, to do anything of any substance um, takes a lot more. And, and again, back in the day, I, I would know that as soon as I release the DVD, I'm going to sell five or 10,000 units. You're going to get a huge paycheck. It was worth the time and the effort. That's gone. All that, all that. Uh, and again, I'm not trying to always make this about money, but I ran it for a business. That that model is completely gone. Um, you're not going to get the AdSense checks that 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 RC Sparks is getting uh, ever. People have attempted it many, many times um, to to copycat what what he's been doing. It's a tough business, as we know. But I, yes, I, if it was for fun, I would. If I had, if I won the lottery and I had nothing but time, yeah, I would love to. Get into productions again and make some kick-ass videos. You also have to remember uh, something. That Wes made the videos with me. I think you, well, you definitely know Wes, Derek, but you probably do as well, Pete. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have drones or HD or all these gyros and, and stabilizers. The kind of production would that you could do these days would be ridiculous. I mean, you see Traxxas do it and 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 other brilliant companies. Um, the capabilities these days would be ridiculous. It, it would be so much fun. Yeah. To 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 do what I did 20 years ago with well, that's the other thing you'd be fighting is every RC brand now is also a content company. If they're doing things right, you know, they, they have their own media and videos and stuff to varying degrees yeah. of quality, but Traxxas puts out excellent content. Um, Amazing. So Ridiculous. Yeah. Really yeah. 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 But I, think it's still I mean, it goes really to show you what a budget can do as well. Yeah. Because this is the video production is, it's strictly a budget conversation. You got to have an 18 wheeler and, 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 and the backhoe to, to build the ramps, the, the dirt ramps on either side to, to jump it with, with your 50 person crew and, and the average Joe is not going to be able to do that. Yeah. I mean, I, and again, I'm not trying to convince you to do this, Jeff, and don't argue with me. You should do it. I, I get it. I'm, but like, I, I would love it if I had the time to say, you know, what? I'm going to make 12 videos a year and each one is going to be engineered to be a, a big, cool stunt. That will be very click worthy and click baby sure. and, you know, get traffic. And, and I'm going to map them out. I'm going to, I'm going to do a, a I'm going to build a flaming hoop to jump through. I'm going to jump over the two-story part of a house, and you know, I'll, I, you plot them all out, and then the, that video is like, okay, I got to figure out how to build a flaming hoop. And the only minutes of it is me figuring out how to build a flaming hoop, and then you finally get together, and then the truck goes through it in slow motion, and it looks yeah, gorgeous. yeah. And, and again, this this is all very viable. Um, the time though, it's not easy. I, I to your point, yeah, it can't yeah. be like 
every Friday I go out my backyard and I run my car around. Where's the video? Where's the hits? You know, you're not going to get them. Again, it has to be a hobby. If you're going to, you're going to spend hundreds of dollars to build this flaming hoop and you're going to spend dozens and dozens of hours to, to make this production, right. as long as you're okay with the $8 check, which is, again, that's fine. If that's, if you're doing $8. it as a hobby, it's fine. Yeah, it, 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 even AdSense is not nearly what it used to. You used to make about a thousand bucks per million views, which is reasonable. Uh, the, the work to money ratio used to be somewhat reasonable. It's oh, not even right. that now. You used to get about a thousand. No, I think the, no, it's less than that now. No, but it depends on you how fast you reach a million. It depends on a number of things. It's not a simple algorithm. But but, but it, back it, in the day, you'd make a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks roughly per million views. So so you know someone like Aaron who's getting five million views a week on all his videos, you got a pretty reasonable uh, business going. Um, it's not even the thousand to 1500 now, if I'm, if I, if I, if I'm correct, I'd have to check with one of the guys who still actually gets a check. But uh, yeah, it, it, YouTube's made it tougher and tougher. Um, they're taking higher and higher percentages. There's all these other new rules. What is that, that, that child, the cap guard? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that's yeah. Kind of <laughs> it's, 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 it's really not to it now. Yeah, but yeah, like, the, funny just, like any, just like any lucrative business, the, the, the lucrativity, is that a word, goes away. Yeah. Right. Well, there's, and there's lots of videos you can look up on YouTube about how how much money YouTubers actually make and how it's generated, all that stuff, um, yeah. if you're interested in that kind of thing. What I always find, I don't want to say funny, I, I do feel bad for some of them, but is, you know, YouTube will change their rules because you don't own the platform. Like, YouTube can decide they're not going to pay anybody tomorrow and... That's right. There's nothing about it, and they're like, I can't believe it. Like you don't have. I mean, they won't because they ha they ha they need content creators. That's the point. But yeah, you're 100 yeah. right. Well, hey, listen, we started this uh, RC magazine virtual after uh, uh, paper, and uh, we know the. For, so we'll, I'll tell you the story of Facebook. We started our Facebook page, and it grew, uh, and then it grew fast, and then one day it went to zero, and we spent. What fifteen twenty thousand dollars in marketing, something like that, a lot. Um, yeah, which people always get confused. We didn't buy uh, friends. We we advertised through Facebook so that when they click it, same thing. I, I buy them all my friends too. I buy them. Beers. Well, no, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't go to some click house and and yeah. buy fifty thousand uh, uh, fake. Yeah. Again, so uh, everybody did at the time. So who cares if they, even if it was that? But so. We had 150, 160,000 followers, and then one day all the interactions stopped. And we had a little meeting going, and I thought someone changed something because I was like, hey, did you guys turn something off? And we went from interaction to zero interaction to having to pay for everything we already paid for to yeah. reach them again. And I said, yeah. um, we're not paying anymore. That's it. Yeah, we, at one point we had, it was 112 or something thousand. No, 150. Followers. Whatever, that's fine. And I forget what we were paying twenty dollars a day or fifteen dollars a day for advertising. And we'd make a post and we'd get three or four hundred thumbs up on a regular Facebook post. And then we dropped it down to like five or bucks a day just to dabble and it went to nothing. And that's when we realized even though we advertised to get all these legitimate followers, the hundred and fifty thousand, you then have to keep paying Facebook to connect with them. Reach them, yeah. Which which and we And that's the moral of the story for everybody is that you're not creating content on your own environment. So whatever you're making if that's what you're banking on, tomorrow can go away. And a lot of YouTube people figured that out. Yeah. They changed the algorithm and you go from making 15, 20,000 a month was a huge amount to 3,000. Yeah, which is still nice, but yeah, no, right. If you're, right, yeah. By the way, we made like a 86 cents on all our videos on uh, the live one. So it's yeah. really lucrative. Yeah. Uh, and what, we're only we, do it for, we don't do it for uh, the love, we do it for the money. Yeah, but that's if just that it. doesn't split three ways. And I've said this a few goddamn times, Derek. Jeff gets the penny less, not me. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. What if it's a nine and it's evenly divisible? Well, that's fine. Nine, it's, <laughs> it's divided by three. I'm not yeah. an asshole. Of yeah. course, it's fine. <laughs> I will give you both 86. Well, we didn't want to say <laughs> Pete, but. <laughs> All right. Did what we are... just talk about video production for 44 minutes? <laughs> Yeah, some of that stuff interesting. I, I think some people might be interested in, like, if you can get into YouTube and, like, you know, the clickbait. Uh, you know, it's funny. I watch some of the channels of, I like full size cars. So I get sucked into, like, Street Speed 717 stupid videos and uh, tall guy art, uh, tall guy reviews. And I watch how they go. And it's the same trend for everybody. They do the same thing. Oh, I sold my car today. I blew up my car today. I broke my car today. Yeah. 
I got a new car today. I've got a new car, somebody else's car. And it's like the same pattern over and over again. And it's boring to me because I've obviously watched more than one, but obviously it's not boring to someone else because there's no shit on anything anymore. It's got the. Well, it's hard know, to create content. It's, it's hard to continue creating content. Is yeah, and now because they make like what you're saying is, okay, I make a certain amount of uh, uh, money for, per video. And they start, instead of doing one quality video a week, they start doing two mediocre, three less mute, and then five yeah. shitty. And then it's five of nothing just so they're getting, yeah. uh, so they're and getting, unfortunately you'll do better with that uh, uh, from a revenue standpoint. Right. But I mean, that's you just run out of things. That's what we, we joke about this in RC is like, what are we going to talk about today? We're, we're in a fixed topic. I mean, there's nothing really changing. It's like a new monster truck. Uh, Camber doesn't change. You know, setups are not, uh, it's not tomorrow. Like you're running five degrees positive and it's your mind's <clears> blown. We're, we're going to repeat ourselves a million times because people obviously answer, or ask the same questions. Um, because you have a new person every day saying, you know, I put uh, taller tires and a 44 tooth pinion from a 12 on there. And my car blew up. What happened? Yeah, why? <laughs> it's the same time. It's the same topic over and over and over again. Yeah. So when you're talking about, oh, I uh, the stuff I watch, you know, like cars or uh, now I watch how to make golf. My golf's been better. I don't really golf. All right. Kind of weird. Just, uh, curious if, if you guys subscribe to any channels, what, like what are... If, if you don't subscribe to channels, what is what are your favorite types of content or favorite video makers that you've seen on YouTube? Like I, I like Doug DeMuro. Um, I like uh, uh, I, I like I like Doug, but I'm tired of his delivery. Um, this right Project Binky. There's a there's a series called Project Binky where they're uh, putting a turbo Celica or something four wheel drive setup into a Mini Cooper. They're on like thirty or forty episodes extremely skilled guys like ridiculously skilled uh, fabricators I, I watch that uh, I, I don't watch much else I mean I'll, I'll look up content that I need if I have to change a fan in my Xterra or yeah. something uh, <laughs> like like <laughs> I do the, the, the uh, Xterra feed you, you you know the utility end of it but uh, I don't have any uh, people I follow I wouldn't say you know I, I mean RC Sparks aside and like is RC Sparks is his audience are seers or is it like kids who want to see a toy truck go through the mud? Because it's I both. It like, seems to be both now. Like, it, I don't know why an RC person would be like, I'm going to watch this whole thing. You know. Well, he's changed the direction in, in what he's going. He's he's a smart guy, Aaron. Uh, I'm not dissing him. I'm just curious. No, no, I know you were. I, I wasn't. I didn't mean to apply if if, if that's how it came. Uh, he's a really smart guy, but he's, so it's a, and it's a moving target as we've been discussing here. So yeah, it's, it's some of the the content he I, I can't I can't keep up with this content either. It's it's too well, long. He's, and he's got all these things. Doesn't he do like the the uh, gold? He's digging? got his YouTube gold, and he's got construction vehicle. He's got some really cool toys. And and me as a as a somewhat serious hobbyist have lost interest because for the sort of the question you asked. So he, I think he has both the the. RC viewer and also just the average Joe who is interested in in some of the cool toys he has. So he, he's that broadened his his. But he uh, created a personality. So I think you're probably going to yeah. watch more. Like I said, I watched some of the stuff. Like somebody just posted, they watched the Hoonigans channel, which I loved when they had all these builds at their shop, and then they branched it into five different segments to where it's not the quality, it's not the same personality, it's not the same fun, and I've lost interest. And that's a, I think that's media in general is that it's. It's like a restaurant or a nightclub. You're popular for two years and then nobody gives it. Yeah, a and even if you're successful, what you realize is the amount of work you're putting in is it, you're getting, you know, a quarter of what minimum wage is. And, and and it was fun for the first year, but and you didn't care not making your your time back. But then after then it's a job again, and it's a shitty yeah, paying yeah. job, and you're like, I'm over this. Yeah, it, it's, it, you could also analogize it uh, almost analogize it to a racetrack. I've been to a number of racetracks like that where where the RC racetrack it's phenomenal. The guys running are doing a great job, and, and there's lots of turnout. But in the end, they're they're not they're not getting rich by any means. And after the first few years, they're they're the cool guy with the track. And then after three, four, five years, they're just the guy shoveling dirt, getting paid six bucks an hour, and and they shut the track down. Is minimum wage six dollars an hour in Canada. Say again. Is minimum wage six dollars an hour in Canada? No, I said less than minimum wage. I thought six was a good guess. On what would be less than the minimum wage in most countries? Yeah, hey, uh, this guy's from uh, the UK, so I'm gonna world. We don't normally answer questions. We kind of look at them and babble. Yeah. Um, we do bash. And I crawled when I was like from zero to two years old. 
Yeah, I'd like to get into crawling. It looks uh, like fun, not competitively. Uh, just for Rick Hayes' question, I do watch some of the Kevin Talbot videos. Um, he's the wacky British guy who also does videos about how to get rich on YouTube and you know uh, with social media and on eBay. Um, Did he do videos like that? Because I I watched his. Uh, we had some of his videos before he had any followers, and now the, he gets a decent amount. But he's fallen into the same. I mean, it's all clickbait shit to me at this point. But yeah. Um, well, I mean, like I, I could go, I could go to RC four wheel drive right now and get a one of RC four wheel drives trail trucks with a snowplow on it, and I could, you know, plow my driveway with it. If I had snow, I don't. Um, and I could, I could, I could title that, I could title that video in depth review RC four wheel drive snowplow kit and you know Defender D ninety and get you know five hundred views, or I could title it Toy Truck Plows Real Driveway and you know yeah uh, put the right tag five hundred four million hit video for all I know I'm not not guaranteed but that's yeah. the difference between some of these you know guys who are like oh i'm trying to make rc content for rc people versus rc content well, it's a small it's a small industry that's the problem we've we've discussed this on a number of fronts yeah when, and if you when want you're to, the number one hit getting rc rc videos are actually these insipid you know vlogger youtube guys and like the thumbnail is a giant red arrow pointing at the car and he's making a wacky face yeah. like will it get across my pool can it jump my lamborghini and it's you know yeah i've made fun of a few though i've watched a couple of those yeah. and like even the rocket bringing up the last issue because i was all like oh i'm gonna do a whole series on rocket stuff and all <laughs> i did was get sadder and sadder as i yeah well that's just it yeah like, yeah this video has a five hundred thousand views i wanted to punch my eyes out yeah and but it's people, compelling. It's like I strapped 10 DSDs rocket motors to my RC truck. Sure, I'll, I'll look. But then the video, for some reason, is 45 minutes long, and it starts out with the guy's eating cereal. And then, like, I can't believe my brother's playing his music too loud. And then it's all about how he has to fight with his brother yeah. on the music. And then it's like, it's like geez, just show me the rocket car, you know? Uh, but yeah, apparently, it's a different, it's a different landscape now. It's a different landscape now. Yeah. Definitely. Well, uh, RCU next Tuesday. I, I like uh, trail trucking. Trail trucking for me is very zen. I can go out, actually get outside and walk for a few miles in the woods. And uh, yeah, I think that would be amazing. Uh, fun. That does sound fun. Oh, see, that's funny. I, I'm just more amused that you read RCU next Tuesday, and I was RCU next. I couldn't read it. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what either. I, I was trying to see what the name was. I was like, "Are you next to you?" The I was like, "What the hell does that mean?" Feel like I was playing bumper. Oh, the guy's name. Oh, right. oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. They're, and they're they're words are delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, in the terms of our seeing, uh, I wish I had more time to do stuff, and it's just nothing's close enough to me to do it weekly, which sucks. Most of my RC activity is spent doing, um, like. Uh, just building little things like, like I should build a rack for these tools, you know, and then I go in the garage for an hour. He's gone. You know, and I, you, know you go in and then like, that would be amazing. My, my RC activity today was building this, you know. Sure. Yeah. A piece of wood, but I made sure I drilled them nice and I lined them up and everything. So like a lot of my RC fun is just doing stuff like that and painting a body or, you know, uh, putting new wheels and tires on a car. And then maybe a month later, I'll have time to drive it. But people uh, also have to remember, like, like, again, not trying to be negative, but we we've been doing this in one <laughs> one capacity or the other for decades now, uh, professionally and also for fun. And, and you know, the analogy of the mechanic doesn't want to go home and change his own oil. So it, it's tougher. I, I still enjoy racing and still enjoy this hobby very much. But but it's it, especially for someone like Derek, who's doing three reviews, uh, an yeah. issue it, it, the, the, you tend to have difficulty fully enjoying the fun component of it because you're thinking oh, i should bring my camera or i should this should be an article now now this would be oh, no, dude, I, I would i would i would have the slash and the wendigo already built if i didn't want to also document some of that process plus i'm super right busy. and uh, you probably enjoy the build you yeah. grab a well not you wouldn't grab a six pack but one might grab a six pack and and build it in front of the tv and have a great evening of it but we're in sitting here going like oh i got to go to the studio every 10 minutes and take a picture and yeah and and write notes and yeah no i'm right I'm yeah, and where i were i single and i'm not complaining about not being single but i would probably yeah, i would meet up with the north texas scale crawler guys every weekend and go to a different i would i would drive 80 miles to the big rock park where the really sure. cool rocks are and hit that i mean yeah for sure but 50 year old me like i got a kid in the you know, a lot of chicks 
<laughs> what, what just happened? What? So if I was single, I'd be banging a lot of chicks. <laughs> nice. Great, Derek. And not rock crawling at all. That's how you get the chicks. Yeah. Chicks are into rock crawling. If, if my wife watches this, I'll get in trouble because you said that. Sorry. Thanks. You, what would you get in trouble for? Because this is who I hang out with. <laughs> oh, right. That's fair. Right. <laughs> I'm lying. It's actually a compliment to your wife. You, 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 yeah, you, you didn't, didn't even say that at all. Chicks, you're a catch. Your you're wife got you. Yeah. Rock <laughs> Super catch right here. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, I was like, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be rock on. Actually, you know, I, I, as I said, even Joe just made fun of me because his track is twenty minutes away. But it's not a, it's not, it's not a. I can't go there and we can't race uh, ten slashes together. Although, I think we could. And I was kind of bummed out that Pete took the uh, kit slash because I was like, oh, I finally have a slash to go race with Joe. <laughs> Dude, you must have a slash somewhere in your pile. Uh, I think no. Well, now it's a. I, I think it started. Well, it's probably a slash again. It's it was that the speed stick. Uh, anyway, Joe doesn't run slash. He only runs the EGT class now. Yeah. So you'd have to source a a GT and then a conversion. So I do have a. I have this. I actually have the short course version in my uh, in my garage. The, no, the nitro. That's, That's a nitro. Flash. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course it's a nitro. We were just talking GT. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we are. Um, you oh, I, got a, I got a new tool. I usually don't get stuff, but I got this for free at work. Oh, that's amazing. I bought one of those uh, last blow. year. Amazing. It's the, I don't know, I said to clean my motorcycle, but I think it's going to be good for our C2. Is it a, a vacuum or a blower? Actually, blow. you bought me one, Derek. A blower. I bought you one? What the why, why am yeah. I buying you shit? I, I wanted it. I wanted one, so I just did a review for the magazine. Yeah, you bought that for me. Thanks. You want to see my uh, Two years ago? Do you remember? Oh. Oh yes, I do. No, that was the vacuum, wasn't it? Or was it the blower? No, it's a blower. Oh. Same as yours, but it's a white. It's the whatever, a different brand. But it's all the same. Hmm? Here's my latest purchase. I do. What is it? Oh, oh, oh an airbrush. airbrush. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Came cracked. Pete, did you? You never painted. Painting is hard. I actually bought this because I want to do some more plastic bottling because I have so much time. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> If I was single, I'd paint action figures. But uh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> That's figures. what would make you single, by the way. <laughs> but um, uh, I thought you know, and, and also I've got I've got a whole rack of Proline paint that I can't paint with because I don't have an airbrush to, to squirt it through. So um, is that your first airbrush? You're, you're such a, a, a superpower in this hobby, and that's your first airbrush. I'm not a superpower. I've never owned an airbrush. No. Wow. I used to love the paint when I when I was uh, I worked at JP's in Seymour, Connecticut, when I was in college. A hobby shop. I used to paint all the time. I loved it. I had a really good time. Now, uh, I actually think I may buy a, a an airbrush. So I have a funny airbrush story for you. I have I have an, a, an Iwata, uh, which uh, Brian Chetty. I don't know if you guys remember Brian. He's a master yeah. painter. Um, used to paint for Proline or Protoform. Um, he he had recommended it one year, so I bought a, a fancy Iwata, and uh, I didn't use it for years and years and i left paint in it and this and that anyways i'll speed the story up uh, you actually derek asked me to image an article i think dave wrote an airbrush article and he didn't have any clean airbrushes so you asked me to image the article and mine was really dirty so i tried everything to clean it anyways long story short uh i soaked it in vinegar overnight and i went down the next day and i was like holy shit like this is amazing like it's super cleaning it up so i flipped it it was only half vinegar and so i flipped the airbrush and put it back in and then forgot about it and went down like a week later and half the airbrush now has all the chrome off, like all <laughs> it's bare. Wait, so here, can I ask you a question? You yeah. soak it, but only half laying with the, I mean, yeah, I, I was like, well, I was just testing. And then I would flip it. Airbrush is this thin. You're like, oh, I only have this much vinegar. Well, I guess vinegar is not expensive. Egg. Anyway, whatever. Let's not get into the details. I like do all that. my Easter eggs so I couldn't uh, soak my airbrush in. I don't know if it's ruined. I assume that there is some tolerance to, to the chrome coating. Tip down? Chrome. What? Did you soak it tip down like it's super stupid? No, I like, took it all apart. I had, it was all the pieces were apart. And 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 it was so anyway, the chrome there. finish is half gone on, like exactly half gone on. I haven't I haven't put it together and and seen if it works, but uh, my fancy airbrush is probably garbage. So don't soak your shit in vinegar, everyone. I'll give you my just blow it too to find out what to do, but I'm not um, really sure. As viewers of Blush, don't, don't soak your uh, uh, vinegar. <laughs> 
That's yep. a Joe article. Joe, I'm going to make fun of you. Joe, Joe's going to write an article. You spilled your airbrush and vinegar, and five pages later, he's going to go, no. <laughs> well, here, here's a, an actual good topic I'd like to know the answer to. Because um, if you follow Velocity social media, you saw the um, riveting posts that I put up about cleaning my... Cleaning tires, yeah. Tires. Was, by the way, I was pretty impressed with that. And this, uh, this one, the compound dot uh, got washed off, but the yeah. logo stayed on. I didn't want to ruin these nice logos. Same process with the other tire. The compound dot stayed on, but my Hoosier logos came off. Oh, that's odd. It was simple green. So uh, so what are you going to do? Are you going to paint those back on? No. <laughs> no, just one side is logo and one's not. You just have to take all the pictures from the left. So that wasn't and good. switch tires and take them from the other side. So yeah, so that's right. I'm going to be kind of dumb. You didn't soak it in palm olive? The first thing, well, first of all, the the mold release on these things is super tenacious. And usually, uh, yes, like yeah. when I do the trail truck tires, because they're all knobby and there's so much detail, I will just hit them up with uh, simple green and dish soap, and I just scrub really hard with a scrub brush, and that gets it off sufficiently. There might still be some on there, but you don't really see it because there's so much tread detail. With these, where they're totally smooth, if you don't get it all off, it really shows up. So for these, right. uh, I would do the same thing, and like it looks clean while it's wet, but then it dries, you can still see the gray stuff, you know, kind of swirled like you moved it, but it didn't come off. Um, so for this one, I kept going at it with um, simple green and a toothbrush, trying to avoid the logos and keep it nice and worked out great. And I thought, well, because I've been scrubbing this and the toothbrush with simple green didn't take the logo off, then I can probably just put this one face oh, down no. in a bowl, which is what I showed in simple green. And I only left it there for like half an hour. It wasn't my goal. So the one, that, the one that the logo stayed, you didn't soak? No, yeah, this I didn't soak. I just scrubbed. Okay, this one I let right. it soak. Again, not for super long. And it was the same, same simple green I was using on this one. But that yeah. loosened it up enough where it came off. But it's weird because the the uh, compound dot did not come off, which blows my mind. So, sorry, Joe's making comments about his next yeah, article. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love your long no video, no article. So I'm. A, I'm a... <laughs> just the, I keep yelling at Derek, like, "What is Joe writing here?" <laughs> uh, I do enjoy your articles, though, Joe. <laughs> Uh, anything else that happened in RC this week? Uh, racing, I saw some. I saw our buddy Matt at Mod now has a live onboard camera for his fifth scale. He, he talked to us about that. He, he I know. He just posted a video that he did it. That's what oh, I would okay. say. Right. Like, it wasn't that he just said he's thinking of doing it. He did it. Now, I don't yeah. know if it was actually live, like you watch it live or it was a pre-record, like he downloaded it, but um, he did claim to be the first one to do that, so... Maybe he did. Like during a race, he's you mean he's streaming a live? Yes, well, that's kind of neat. I guess that, uh, that would probably be. Uh, he has it on his footage. I, I'm gonna be honest with you; it not really that great because uh, um, the car, the camera was in the car, uh, and you can't see around. You just get like the. It would be like yeah, it would grow tiresome quickly. Sure. Yeah, yeah like well, this. I've got to see a really nice on-camera video where the camera is stable enough where it's. Yeah. It's worth watching. You know? The new GoPro uh, Ultra Smooth. Uh, yeah, my question was, does that make the difference? It, it does. Pretty significant, too. So um, it wasn't like the Blair Witch, like you were going to barf every second. Um, yeah. So the, the the new stabilization and, and a lot of stuff like that. You know, Ryan Lutz got lucky and got four million views on one video and then nothing. Yeah. Um, that was also on Hero 8, and you can see how stable it looks. Because to be honest with you, normally it would just be vibrating. It, you'd be watching the video, and it's kind of like me watching me like this the whole time. Well, yeah. I, I would love if we could race RC cars the way drone racers do, where you, you put on the virtual reality rig and you see through the car's windshield. And, that would be uh, terrible. Cool. It would be terrible. Well, if it could, but if it could be not terrible, that would be a fun way to, to race an RC car, where you feel like you're in a in car. In fact, we had a, uh, we had a guy at the last track I used to race at, uh, a kid who was bionic, like just un he would win every week. And and in fact, we all the other AMA drivers started. What's that? What he beat you? That's not a surprise. No, he beat everybody, he slaughtered everyone. Like it was brutal. And to the point that me and me, me and all my oh, buddies would, would call a second place in the A main a win because this guy was just he was so fast. Anyway, he, he's a young guy, he's like 13, and just again, he, I often call him, you know, potentially the next Tebow. Um, depending on what direction he goes with it. Uh, just he's very young and very, very fast uh, guy. Anyway, I think he was getting bored near the end. And and on the last few races, he was playing games. Um, one, he was running the race, like the race director while driving from a really awkward position. And then the final race, he did what Pete just said. He stuck a camera in and drove it from like a first person view. And uh, say again. 
he still won in camera? In no, the no, no, no. And that was, that was what the point I was going to bring. His skill, his immense skill didn't matter anymore. Ooh, it's no. such a, a poor drive. It's such a poor view that it, it's it's almost unbearable uh, to do. Um, you just you're, The cars are too fast. They change direction too quick and, and you're too low to the ground. And you, all you see is the face of the jump as you're approaching. It, 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 it seems like it would be fun, but it's a very difficult well, drive. Well, that's how it is in full. I mean, I've driven on full size short course race tracks, and when you come up on a jump, you're just driving up a wall, and you cannot see. It's right. no doubt that one component of, of the face of the jump, but you have peripheral vision and you and your neck moves. Oh so yeah, they're... you would need specialized cars, maybe even with like multiple cameras, so you can turn your head and we'll switch. That could be it. different. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm not saying you just put a camera and it's good to go. But yeah, yeah, you know, then then it would be kind of neat. Yeah, it would be the virtual reality includes nothing virtual you're really inside a car just electronically it's a small one i think that'd be cool if you could make it work i'm not saying it should be that way or yeah. that stuff here, but well, and it could make it work like you said if, if you do it properly if, if someone builds a, a system properly where where you have a a, a better view than yeah, yeah. 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 It, it works great the for is, the, the, because one you don't have to have the ground in relative space like this buddy of mine that I was telling you about the kid who was, who was really fast. Like we'd, we'd have to communicate with him on the driver's mm -hmm. stand. Like, Hey, I'm coming up behind. I'm about to pass you because he'd be still trying to drive his line. And, and he had no idea who was coming from behind. You, you, there's no way of like, he's got goggles on his head and, and the camera's not pointing back. Yeah, at him, so. And he was fast. Is, it, is he dead or he doesn't race anymore? No, well, no, this track went out of business. So I don't see him weekly oh. anymore, but no, he's still racing and, and he's still ridiculously fast. Yeah. I will say I put a camera on top of a trail truck, not from the driver's perspective. I actually put it on the roof so I could see more of the terrain ahead. And that it, it was novel, but it got pretty dull pretty quick, you know. Um, right. I think that, to be honest with you, I think that's why that form will never think. Because, uh, you, you know, in the drone racing, they had the TV series. It was miserable to watch to me. Yeah. Uh, you know, that was the topic we wanted to have, remember? Yeah, in the beginning, it was like, oh, that's cool. It's on TV. And then it's like, all right, these guys are sitting on a chair with a, a box on their face. And then you're watching <laughs> a red dot fly around a, a thing. And it's like, oh, uh, all right, I'm not going to do that. Nobody watched it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff's trendy. It comes and goes. It was a nice try, though. We gave away stuff today. Did you call the Tekken thing? Oh, yeah, you I did. Right. And uh, we're going to try to give away the Drake stuff again because I talked about it. But uh, Oh, wait. So you didn't get a prize today? We gave away the Tekken stuff today. No, it was last week's prize. You keep lazing it out here. Oh, you're right. Uh, yeah. What are we giving away today? Why don't you give away a triple X main prize pack? Because then when Jeff goes to the post office. I'm going to do everybody a favor. I'm going to do everybody a favor. I'm not giving away a triple X. I haven't contacted the guys from two months ago. <laughs> yeah. Two months. I've been asking for shit for like, uh, like. Don't you? Yeah, I'll print your stickers this week. I don't have. I, I actually have a. I just shipped a huge order, so I, I actually have a bit of free time. Um, don't you have something behind you you can give away? Don't we have something here? I, I can give away. Uh, no, but you can give away one of your hats, one of your eighty eight thousand dollar hats. Those are super expensive. I'm not sure if I, I want to give one. One right here. Look at it. It's nice. I will give away a hat. Oh. Today's, today's show is sponsored by. Uh, Hat. <laughs> I've got this trail. Um, I gave away the scale of my finger. Never mind. Oh, I didn't that? by that until you said your finger, by the way. What is that? Is that RC? I have, I have lots of toys on my desk. So no, I'm I know, be I know. Like, I'll give away this 10 scale VW van. Oh, it's only this. Oh, is this a perspective thing again? <laughs> All, All right. right. Oh, right there. Okay, tell so, people how to win it and then let's end this. Win it, you spin it to win it. Remember the dude that used has the bell buckle? Um, I remember that. Yeah. If Hippie's still if Hippie's still on, he'll remember that too. Yeah. That was Vegas. So was, you're gonna win the seven thousand dollar hat, uh, thirteen thousand five hundred stitches, uh, overly stitched. The guy that did it, uh, thank you for doing it. it. Took literally two months to stitch thirty six hats, and he never told me that the machine broke when he did it because it was overly complicated. Uh, but it's on a flex fit hat. It's nice. They're it's nice great. hats. Very nice hats. Yeah. yeah. So enter to win the same way every week. Download the newest issue and I pick it off whoever downloads that thing unless you have a Are you gonna put a link? I to say it's in the description. Oh, in the Facebook in the, in the description of the video you're watching. If you click it, there's a link to download. Every week you just go and download it. You have to download the same issue every week. I know 
Jeff wanted us to give away. We would have given away half for a collection already. Did you put a new issue up? Yeah. No. no? So 36 or whatever, whatever issue it is, that's what you get. You're not getting, you're getting one issue. The idea is you subscribe after you get your free one and then yeah, you're yeah, yeah, to yeah, win yeah. something. Right. So that's how it is. Do it. And then uh, you'll win this free hat shipped U.S., Canada, and I'll add Mexico because I don't think. But you'll have to answer a question if you win it Peru. from Canada. And you have to answer a question. How many stitches do you think are in this hat of 13,500 stitches? That's a tough question. Well, your answer is that to be correct. You just have to say how many you think. Yes. Oh, is that heard. true? In, uh, in, in, in the conversation that, that you brought up earlier, is that true? You, oh, is okay. Canada, really for, for Derek. I think, you have, right. I think well, you have to get it right. I think you have to get it right. I don't live in Canada. I can give two flying shits about your loss. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> We feel <laughs> similar about your country. Yeah, well, you can't win shit without <laughs> guessing. Jeff, <laughs> yeah, well, who, won, who won in the one? Like, do you have a lottery? Do you guys have Derek, a lottery? I'm ignoring you now, Derek. What are you saying, Pete? Given that the question is like, what is two plus two? I imagine you have to get it right. That's why they bother making it so easy. Yeah, but I just, I always wondered, like, if someone said three, do they lose the million dollar prize or do they like, come on, you want to? I bet they still draw the guy at random and they're like, oh, wait, he said three. And they're like, you can have the prize. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah right, right, right. Ma Magnuson, Hagenison, uh, uh, you could pay yes, the shipping. Of course. To, but here's the thing you could buy the hat and then I, and pay for the shipping and I'll ship it to you. But uh, yes, if you want to pay for shipping wherever you live and want to win the hat, and if I pick you, yeah, but Australia guy, you must know <laughs> that you do not want to pay for shipping to Australia. Yeah, well, yes, you would. It's a it's one in thirty-five hat. It's a what? One in thirty-five, thirty-six. I don't know how many. No, but if it's going to be eighty bucks to ship to Australia, he's not going to want to pay that if he wins. Why? It's worth it to use. Europe. See, Canadians are cheap. Australians. Look, this is why I'm going to go to Australia be, uh, before Canada. We're going to go there. We're going to drink a lot of beer. And we're not going You've to You've been to Canada. Shipping. I know. I went, I went to the weird <laughs> end of Canada. <laughs> yeah. Well, not the weird. You went to the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I guess weird. that's the weird area. Sure. Yeah. Saskatchewan. Yeah. You had some of my beers. No, you went. Not Saskatchewan. That's on. Uh, no, you went to either Nova Scotia or New Brunswick. Nova Scotia. And you were drinking uh, Keith's. Yes. It's a, Keith a mainstream IPA, or, I believe. Or, yes. Or no, Indy Pale. Yeah, Indy Pale. Yeah, right. Uh, this is always good because this is what you're going to learn from today when you walk away from the show. Nova Scotia claims the Titanic is their disaster. <coughs> that was their whole pitch from their oh, tour department. Uh, we, we have two things. The, the Titanic disaster and the largest non-nuclear detonation in the, in, uh, on record. That's Nova Scotia you're saying? Yes, that was their claim to fame. That, I'm there with the tourism department. And I said, you should probably remarket yourself because well, I don't understand. <laughs> Their harbor blew up and then you claimed uh, the Titanic, which was in the middle of the Atlantic. But OK. On that note, uh, you just learned something. And that was a real story. Uh, Avro Arrow, too. Canada has the Avro Arrow. That's very important. Yeah, the, the only per it's like the invisible jet from Wonder Woman that killed it, uh, never came out with it for the better of mankind, even though everybody else made a better fucking jet. Uh, no, they didn't. But anyways, we won't get into the Avro Arrow. They Everybody made it. Got the Navarro era. A, ten, a decade later, they did. Yes, right. We still do, but you blew it up. So it's like the invisible jet. You had a lasso and a. Yeah, and it's a, a bad story. It's a sad Canadian story. Yeah. So we walked away today learning something. So with that said, and nothing about RC other than you're going to uh, win the hat, and then if Magnuson Van Magnuson wins it, uh, he's paying for shipping. Uh, <laughs> see you next week, and hopefully we have a better show. This <laughs> this is depressing. Are we doing this next week? Are we gotta yeah. end this. Probably still alive because Derek leaves it running forever. But I'm not Derek. I'm Jeff. Hi. See, look, there's two of me. We're still alive. <laughs> Is this weird? What's he doing? I have nice teeth. All right, but teeth. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>